In this section of the course, we're going to be focusing primarily on how to make Outlook work for you and how to make your work easy and effortless when it comes to using and automating Outlook. So to begin with that, we're going to talk about how we can actually create and manage email templates. Now this is a form of automation in that you can create a template for an email and then actually pull that template up at any time or call upon that when you need to create a new and similar email. So from our email inbox, we're just going to go up to the upper left and create any new email as we normally would. Now we could send, for example, this to our HR team and we could call it weekly regroup agenda. And I could say, hello team, the following is the agenda for our upcoming weekly regroup. And now I'll leave this blank down here, and then I'll put sincerely Ethan. Now, I'll save this as a template, and I can have this be our weekly meeting template, essentially, and then we can just paste in that agenda as soon as I have it, and I can send this off just by clicking on send. I've already filled in my to info, my subject, and most of the body of my email. So when you're ready to save an email as a template, all you have to do is navigate to the file tab in the message, and when you're in that menu, click on save as. Now by default, when you save an Outlook item, it just saves as an email item, which you can then access from your desktop or any other sort of area on your file explorer. But if you change this save as type down here to Outlook template, immediately you'll be placed in a different folder where you can find the user created templates for Outlook. So we'll just call this weekly read group template. And we'll save it in there. And now, you won't see anything different about this email itself, but if I close out of this and say, no, I don't want to save my changes, now let's say that I wanted to pull that up so that I could just paste in my agenda for this week's upcoming weekly regroup. Instead of just clicking on new email up here in the upper left, we're going to click on this small drop-down icon, and then we're going to go down to where it says more items, and then click on choose from. Now I know this seems like a drawn out process, but there are a lot of ways and also there's a lots of different places that we can choose to pull these templates from. So in order to actually use a user template, when you're in this choose form uh, box here, you actually have to go down and click on user templates in the file system. Now as you can see, our template is right there, the weekly regroup template. And we can see right here where we found that in our system. Now, if we want to browse to another location, for example, that may have other templates, we could do so as well. But by default, all your templates will be saved here. Then if you click on open, there we have it. That email is already populated with all the information that we need. So I recommend that you go through and you create templates for emails that you know you send quite often or for emails where you know you will be sending them quite often in the future. It's good to have templates built up so that you can quickly automate your email creation and then send that email quickly and effortless, effortlessly to make sure that the information gets to the individuals who need it as quickly as possible. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.